My name is Akila. Hi, I'm Javier. And we're, we're going to be talking about chocolate. We believe that chocolate should be taken out of markets worldwide unless people stop cutting down forests for plantations and stop child laboring. Why, you ask? So then you could save forests and stop trafficking. Our resource is chocolate, and people all over the world consume it. People want this product because it is very delicious. The way the chocolate is mostly used for it is to eat it. The people who eat it, of course, are the people who have money and can afford it. Chocolate is first in a cocoa shell. Then the shell is cut up, then there will be beans that are then dried in the sun. After that, the beans are put into sacks and then sold to big chocolate factories such as Nestle and Hershey's. At the factory, the beans are melted and made into solid chocolate bars, then sold in markets. After that, people eat them. 40% of the share of cocoa goes to the farmers. 5 million farmers, 90% of whom are smallholders. Chocolate producers, such as Cadbury, get their chocolate from the Ivory Coast. Cho cocoa trees affect the resources because if we want more chocolate, we have to cut down more trees and plant. The soil that we planted trees in are in a bad condition. And when we cut down trees, the animals that live there die and will have no homes. There is a more sustainable way to get our resources. We can pay the farmers a fair amount of money and stop slavery and child labor. 66% of child laborers don't go to school. 284,000 kids that are only 9 to 12 years old work in hazardous conditions. Farmers only get 1% of 60% of their pay. Other groups and nations just take advantage of cheap labor. They don't. They work together by buying the cocoa for cheap prices. Therefore, they uh, get more cocoa for cheaper prices, and then the farm farmers will be paid less, and they will need more children to create two times more of cocoa beans. Companies should get the cocoa beans from family-owned plantations. Therefore, it could save forests and maybe even stop child laboring. Because as the families help the plantation, not labor children. Another way is by using fair trade. To reduce the impact on the ecosystem, we have to stop deforestation. Because if we don't, animals that live there will have no home. 3 billion to 6 billion trees are cut down a year. There are 6% of rainforest left from 14% of the earth. People use motorcycles for trafficking kids and they also use buses. People lure children by saying they'll give them bikes and other good things. There's an illegal road that people use for trafficking kids to the Ivory Coast. Kids are being enslaved and there is lots of trafficking in ivory coast. There is also lots of underpaid farmers. The kids are given machetes on the plantations to cut down trees and then cut up the cocoa pods. Some farmers are actually only paid one penny for uh, farming a chocolate bar that costs 60 cents. In my opinion, farmers don't get enough money as they should get. Sustainable economic development is important because you will then have good economic change that will stay for a long time. And then it will help you do good things. Children work for 8 to 9 hours a day, and they only get the rest at night, and they don't get paid very much. And once they wake up in the morning, they have to work again 